And welcome back to the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Of course, it is our mission to try to bring you news that you can use. Today would be no exception to the rule. We are excited to have on the line with us on today the president of the Purview Athletic Club and, uh, let's say, a living legend himself with his old time on the gridiron of Purview, and that's none other than Greg Austin. How are you doing today, sir? I am good, Brother Prince. I am good, but uh, legend, well, we're, we're just great. <laughs> well, well, we're just Greg, but you want to give credit and honor to whom honor is due, uh, All-American. And I won't even steal your thunder. I'll let you give people your uh, background and your history involved that Prairie View, uh, a lot of moving parts that we'll touch on in just a moment. But present yourself to those who might not know who Greg Austin is. Well, now, good morning, everyone. I am Greg Austin. I am, as Mike said, uh, the current president of the Prairie View Athletic Club. I am an old country boy, if you will, from Sweeney, Texas. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's down in Brazoria County, uh, going down towards Surfside, Freeport, Angleton, Bay City, West Columbia kind of area. I uh, attended uh, Prairie View, of course, recruited by, uh, at that time, Coach Danzy was here just before. And as a matter of fact, he had a medical problem and a heart attack in our, in our summer program just when I got here. But I've been here since I uh, uh, came to Prairie View, I should say, in 1973 uh, from Sweeney uh, as a football player. I was an uh, offensive lineman. And I was pretty good, pretty good athlete, I guess. Uh, we grew and uh, uh, we played some decent football when we got to winning. Uh, uh, but from that point, uh, I am uh, considered to be fairly well uh, in terms of uh, exposure to football. I was an All-American in uh, 75, 76, 75 and 76, and then I was inducted into the Prairie View Hall of Fame in 1998, and that was a, uh, an honor. Uh, but I was a pretty good student as well, and that uh, hopefully we'll get into that a little bit because that's one of my pet peeves. Uh, and that is uh, the academics of, of, of our university. I'm very proud to be a graduate of Prairie View, and I'm very proud to be the president of the uh, Prairie View Athletic Club, in which I can keep in contact with what's going on with athletes in terms of building and developing for life. So uh, a little bit of history. I was a pretty good student, uh, made the honor roll a few times, graduated with honors. So uh, I wanted to get that in there because it is important uh, as we uh, get into some of the things we're going to be trying to do going forward in Prairie View Athletic Club, and that is to support the athletes uh, in every way possible, uh, financially and, and, of course, as much as we can socially. But academically is a program that I'll be introducing hopefully on this call and we'll be uh, fine-tuning as we move forward. But that's a little bit of background on me, Mike. I don't know if, uh, if that covers it. You have some questions, I'll answer them. But, uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't like talking about myself too much. Well, it's okay, and, you know, you don't have to talk about yourself, but the only way people get educated is they have to understand who is giving the message. And sometimes if it's clear and concise on who the messenger is, it has a little bit more legs to carry out what the ultimate assignment would be. Now, you're in a unique situation. You are the second president of the Prairie View Athletic Club after its legendary founder and a uh, longtime president, a uh, man who goes beyond uh, saying who was a giant uh, and who's no longer with us. First and foremost, uh, uh, I don't envy you being in the position that you're in coming in after a person like that. But what has it been like for you taking over as president as Prairie View Athletic Club? Uh, it is, it is uh, an honor, really. Uh, to, to be in this position. Uh, you know, Mr. Higgs started this organization uh, with, a, with a few friends, I think four friends in 1982. Uh, and uh, he developed it and, and got some folks interested and of course built it into an organization that uh, truly supports the athletes. And so it is a true honor for someone like me to come in behind that legend. Now that is a legend at Prairie View. Uh, and I think that the building that we that we are housed in as far as the alumni uh, is uh, named after uh, Mr. Higgs. And so that uh, we are but one uh, 
uh, 32 chapters of the uh, National Alumni Association. Uh, so far, it's been it's been great. And when I say it's been great, when I first took over uh, after the uh, the death of, of, of Mr. Higgs, uh, we had a lot of things already in play, a lot of things in progress. Uh, and of course, that was 2018 when I got in there fully. Uh, and then uh, and then pandemic hit us. Uh, and to be honest with you, it, it really took the wind out of the whole nation and the world. So. Uh, and I'm not blaming uh, anything in terms of what we we need to do in terms of getting back to where we were, but it was a it was an awesome organization that uh, that Mr. Higgs had built, uh, some great dedicated folks, and they're still here, but we need to get ourselves back in tune with what we are going to do. The university now is opening, as you well know. Uh, the pandemic is under control, and we're going to stay on our knees to make sure that folks who are not taking the uh, vaccines will go on and take the vaccine so we can go uh, in the right direction there, which allows us all to be a little more comfortable with coming out and meeting in person. I, I like, uh, just, to, just to have a candid conversation, I like the fact that we can meet uh, via Zoom or via conference call or via some of these other technologies that we have going, but there's nothing in my book uh, that will take the place of a sit down face to face, look at everybody's expression uh, in a full fledged meeting with people on site. And that's the way it was when I first started. Uh, we had lots of participation with uh, folks who were dedicated to Prairie View, who, who, whether you were athlete or not, if you were dedicated to the university itself, which of course uh, Prairie View supporters are the best supporters in the world when it comes to our athletics. Uh, but moreover, the academics and the university itself. We're doing some fabulous things and have been uh, since history uh, presented Prairie View to be the university for Texas and all Texas in terms of African Americans anyway. And so to be able to say I am the president of the Prairie View Athletic Club brings a degree of pride and honor, but it also humbles me in that I am following my legend. Yes, sir. And uh, for those who were listening, you heard the 1982, that's when the thoughts and everything was being kicked around and became officially incorporated in 501c3 status in 1986 and have been doing phenomenal things ever since its conception. Right. Now, when people hear the Prairie View Athletic Club, they hear all these other different clubs, and people get confused. Is it part of this? Is it part of that? What is the purpose of the Prairie View Athletic Club? Well, I, we support the athletes, uh, the athletic programs at Prairie View, the athletic, uh, the sports, individually and collectively. Individually, uh, we have fundraisers. We raise money. We uh, use our dues, of course. Part of it goes to the national as a part of uh, – our membership in the National Alumni Association, but our whole world is making sure that the athletes have what they need, whether we're talking about equipment, and of course we do this based on uh, the rules that are set up by the NCAA and of course Prairie View and University, but we make sure that if they need equipment or if they need, uh, even if they need individual help, that we go through the process and make sure that the funds are necessary, uh, that are necessary are there uh, to uh, give them the financial support that they need. We also uh, sponsor, if you will, uh, the All Sports Banquet in terms of uh, the, uh, the trophies and all the awards that are given out at the All Sports Banquet for Prairie View. Uh, we set up and serve volunteers go out, Prairie View Athletic Club members uh, go out and serve the coaches during the Prairie View Relays. We actually purchase all the breakfast food and the coffees and the drinks and make sure that we are part of that. Uh, we have been given support to uh, what is, uh, wasn't there when I was there, of course, but the bowling teams that, that are now there, uh, they weren't there in, in, two, in 73 to 77, but uh, we have been uh, supportive of, of those organizations as well. I'm very proud also to say that we have that fabulous stadium, and it's not that old, so I can still be excited about that. The Prairie Athletic Club donated $100,000 to uh, support the building and, of course, the opening of that stadium. So we're very proud of that. And we, uh, but for COVID-19, we were pledged to do 
uh, a lot more. I'm going to say it like that. Uh, we were hoping that we would be able to get another 100,000, and we're still going to work on that, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get on this call and make sure that people understand. Uh, the things that we do are truly 501c3, but it, then it goes beyond that because if an athlete uh, has issue with financials, uh, finances, I should say, through the sport, then we, of course, get with the coaches and make sure that, uh, that we support the athletes in that manner. But uh, we'll get into this a little bit more, but uh, I introduced, uh, I had a Zoom call with Dr. Reed uh, a few weeks ago, and we talked about uh, a program that, that, that we have in my church, uh, and it's called TAG, Touch Another Generation. And it's basically a mentoring program. And it's an educational program for what I hope Prairie Athletic Club can get into. And what it amounts to is supporting the athletes academically. Uh, I know we have done some, some fabulous things as a university in terms of retention and graduation rates. Uh, but I'm not really sure about the athletes. Uh, when I was there, like I said, I was a pretty good student. Uh, but at that time, we had the faculty uh, and this faculty is still engaged with the students. Don't get me wrong, it's a big family. But we had a lot more professionals coming onto the campus, uh, tutoring and making sure that we understood uh, beyond Prairie View, you have to work. Beyond Prairie View, you have to be as sharp as you can be in terms of getting into the workforce. And so to do that, you have to have academics and you have to have the support in place. And such another generation, again, sponsored by my church, and, and I don't know if I can say that. Uh, you tell me if I can or can't. Uh, but I did get permission from the leadership at my church to bring TAG, Touch Another Generation, uh, supporting the athletes uh, at Prairie View and bringing in professionals if necessary, or former athletes and sitting down with the, uh, the athletes who may have issues with uh, academics, uh, need some tutoring, uh, need some counseling. And so that's some of the things that uh, – that we do from a financial standpoint, and hopefully we'll develop this program into something that we can be very proud of as an organization and supporting the, uh, the academics at Prairie View as well. Sir, you have no restrictions over here. We are an open book at the open mic, so feel free. And if you need to, you can give a shout out to Lily Grove, the pastor, <laughs> and everybody else. Please, please have no, no hesitation on that at all. We're on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline with Greg Austin, the president of the Prairie View Athletic Club, talking about the conception of the organization and some of the things that the organization has done over the past and looking to do in the very near future. Now, speaking of the future, there is a traditional fundraising that has been going on with the athletic club and the raffle ticket, which has been a big hit but due to pandemic situations and challenges, is still going to be a part of the new fiber, but there are going to be some things on the horizon. And one that we could talk about in particular is the 1876 Club or the yeah. 1876 Project, which is basically a project that is geared on 1876, the founding year for Prairie View A&M University. And it's a simple but yet effective fundraising attempt. Individuals who can commit to $18.76 monthly donation or pledge, however you want to put it, which comes out to $225.21 for the year. And those who are in the position, such as a, a Greg Austin, can just pay that five years in advance and <laughs> just move on down the road. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, a, it's an exciting time, an exciting project to be a part of. And when you, when you see this unfolding, how do you see this helping to add to that right now legacy of the athletic club? Exactly. Uh, my, and I do appreciate you detailing the uh, 1876 project, which, of course, uh, and I know it is open mic, and Mike is a – a very solid member of Prairie View, uh, not only the university, but the community. And of course, of course, as a pastor, he is engaged and involved. And he is uh, going to be handling that 1876 project. But what it amounts to is if we can get that consistent donation, and 
I will make sure I'm part of it. I don't know about five years in advance, uh, you know, but we'll we'll, we'll make sure we're there. As, oh, as, did you say ten? Did I hear ten? Did I hear ten? <laughs> <See, laughs> this is this is why I don't do interviews. But anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to it because uh, the key for us is, uh, like I said, we have ambitious goals uh, that we really need to re-engage our membership that is still there, and then of course touch the membership that is. Uh, that, that we haven't touched for the past year, year and a half because uh, of the pandemic and the things that have slowed down quite a bit. Uh, but 1876 will allow us to uh, to have a dedicated amount of money coming in from a set of supporters that that will that will be focused on uh, making sure that the things that we do for the university or at the university and for the students and the student athletes is always funded. Like anything else, I mean, you can you can you, you can ask people to buy tickets, and the raffle has been so successful. We're going to do it again. We're going to engage that uh, in August. We'll be talking about that at our our, our uh, monthly meeting this coming Sunday. But the key is to make sure that we have the funds that are coming in for the things that we envision that we want to do. Uh, like I just said, there are some things that are going on uh, that I heard about. Uh, here recently about with students, and I don't know if we'll be able to work out the details, but if, if a student athlete or an, uh, a person that we're trying to support it for you, but we're going to be focused on student athletes uh, who may not be on scholarship, but are playing and dedicating their lives to uh, the university, may not have the funds to finish out uh, last semester, and they need two, three hundred dollars to go in and pay that last set of fees. If we can work it through, the proper rules in place. We want to make sure that that student gets uh, gets an opportunity to walk across the stage and get out there and be a productive citizen in life. The 1876 project would be one of those uh, consistent fundraising projects that allow us to do that. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, Prairie View, like most HBCUs or all HBCUs, is always in need of funds. Uh, we're not going to get the big television contracts from an athletic standpoint to build our budgets. And so we're going to depend on the family, the family. And when I say the family, these are supporters of Prairie View. I don't care uh, if you're black, white, brown, or Asian, or Latino, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are looking for people who are looking to support the athletes in this club or uh, support academics. And having said that, we're looking for people who want to make sure that they engage with a, a worthwhile uh, project that, uh, uh, like I said, the $100,000 that we would like to go in and give to our stadium. Uh, there are a number of things at Prairie View that uh, the university is trying to plan for uh, that will be coming up in the future. We want to be able to support that as well, some of those projects as it relates to athletics. Uh, and, uh, and I'm pretty excited as, a, as an old athlete if I can say this, uh, when I came to Prairie View in 1973, uh, Prairie View didn't look at all like it looks today. And I, and I credit, don't get me wrong, the fact that we are affiliated with the Texas A&M system, uh, but we too do our part. Uh, and that's what brings the pride in our university that we, we stand firm on. Uh, Texas A&M does a lot for Prairie View, but they are not the ones that, that I say, this is just Greg's opinion, we should support our own. And so we want to make sure that 1876, our raffle, or some of the other projects that I know you will come up with uh, as chairman of our fundraising committee, along with the, the support of some folks that I know are going to help, that we get the funds necessary to do what uh, we come up uh, in terms of supporting the university in all areas, especially those athletes who are in need of equipment or in need of something that we can provide to them to make their lives a little bit better at Prairie View. Did you know since 1986, the Prairie View Athletic Club has been in full support of Prairie View Athletics from football to tennis. The Prairie View Athletic Club has been there in the time of need. Did you also know that the Prairie View Athletic Club is open to all of those who will be interested in supporting Prairie View Athletics? Do not have to be a former student athlete. You don't even have to be a graduate of Prairie View. If you are a community member at large and you would like to support the efforts of the Prairie View Athletic Club in support of Prairie View Athletics, simply call 936-857-5817 and join today. The Prairie View Athletic Club, supporting 
Prairie View Athletics since 1986. Call for more information right now. 936-857-5817. Once again, we're on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline with Greg Austin, president of the Prairie View Athletic Club. And we've been talking about fundraising projects, talking about the legacy of the organization. And here's an important factor. All organizations' lifeline is the membership. And people say, well, I didn't play sports at Prairie View. I didn't even attend Prairie View. That does not restrict the person from being a part of the Prairie View Athletic Club. If a person that's listening to this right now says, Greg Olson has motivated me, to become a member. How can a person become a member of the Prairie View Athletic Club today? Well, first of all, thank you for, for mentioning the fact that anyone who is interested in supporting Prairie View University and especially focused on the athletes uh, can become a solid member of the Prairie View Athletic Club. The only thing you have to do actually is call the office at 936-857-5817, and I'll say it again, 936 936- 857-5817. And let me encourage uh, everyone listening to me, and, and please tell the folks that you know are interested in, in trying to support, uh, let's say, a very positive uh, organization uh, that is all about supporting student athletes, all about making sure that we have uh, the opportunity to give our, our young people a leg up or hand up. And we do have members of the uh, Prairie View Athletic Club that are not uh, athletes. Uh, we would like to get all of our athletes to join uh, the Prairie View Athletic Club, even if you are a member of one of the other uh, NAA chapters. If you can do that, we would like for the athletes to be engaged and involved. But let me say this. It is important that we have everybody who is willing to support uh, the athletic programs that we are supporting, uh, come and join us. Uh, have some input. Tell us what you would like to see. Uh, make sure that we're engaged. And I challenge now some of the folks who are members today. Uh, we are reinitializing, as you hear uh, me say, uh, in terms of COVID, uh, whether we uh, think it's positive or negative. The state has now opened back up, supposedly, and uh, uh, I wear my mask. Let me, let me throw that out there as a uh, public service announce, announcement because there are too many people out there uh, who have not gotten a vaccine. Uh, so I wear my mask. But And I say that to simply say whether you wear your mask or not, uh, we are now moving forward. The university is opening up, uh, trying to get uh, off the ground with some of the programs, as you all may have heard. Uh, there are some things going on currently and meetings going on relative to football season, which is a big draw. Uh, don't get me wrong, we respect every sport uh, at Prairie View the same, uh, but you know, football, it, it kind of brings us all together because of the homecoming situation in terms of that part of it. And so the university is going through some changes and some, and some decision making, uh, and just like we are at Prairie View Athletic Club. But if you are a supporter of athletes, uh, whether you're a sport athlete or even if you didn't attend preview, but you believe in HBCUs and the family uh, of HBCUs that are supporting uh, our young folks, uh, please join the Preview Athletic Club and help us support our athletes. If that is where your heart is. Brother Austin, it is always a joy to uh, talk about the university that is near and dear to me that has impacted my life, your life, and many other lives. And we're standing on the shoulders of some brave men and women, some inspirational men and yes. women that have carried out the legacy. And hopefully we can continue to do our part to make sure that the flame does not burn out, at least on our watch, right? Yes. And uh, with, that, with that being said, I want to um, thank you for joining us on our Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline on today. But we have a custom here at the Open Mic. And we allow our guests to have some closing thoughts and comments. And the floor is now yours, sir. Well, uh, folks, I, I'm simply a uh, humble servant. And I mean that the way I say it. Uh, I'm simply a humble servant. 
who's trying to do what, what the Lord has blessed me to do in terms of serving others. And in saying that, what Mike just got through saying is very, very important to me and a number of people that I know are in our organization, and that is the university itself does some wonderful thing and ha- things rather and has been since its inception. And it's up to us to make sure that we carry on that tradition, uh, not for the sake of uh, just our culture, because as we all know, our culture is battling, if you will, in the, uh, in the arena of of uh, respect uh, and equal rights and a number of things. But for us as a people, as a culture, as African Americans based uh, in a Prairie View University, we need to understand and realize that if we don't support the universities that supported us when we could not go anywhere else, that is something, I, and I don't mean to say that negatively, I simply say we need to make sure that there is a place that we know that family is going to be family as it relates to getting our children educated uh, and getting other folks' children educated, other cultures' uh, children educated. But the fact of the matter is for us to do it with the kinds of things that are competitive relative to sports and the things that will pull attention to a university like Prairie View or any of the other HBCUs we have out there. We need to make sure that we stay in tune with uh, the pulse, if you will, of our purpose as, as a folks who, as a, as a people, I should say, who need to support one another. This university, Prairie View and University, has stand tall, has stood tall, and continues to stand tall. And all we're asking uh, all I'm asking, and the membership that is a part of the Purdue Athletic Club today, is get involved. Get involved, whether you're an athlete or not. But and it, and I'll say this: I have met so many people just at Lily Grove, and thank you for mentioning my church, Pastor Terry K. Anderson, who is allowing us to bring tag as a program to the Purdue Athletic Club. But I have met so many people who went to. Uh, other universities, but their 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 uh, aunts and their uncles and now their nieces are all uh, coming to Prairie View. And they may be going to other places, but they understand the education, they understand the competitive nature of the athletes at Prairie View, uh, and we stand firm. We stand firm in support of our university. So whether you're an athlete or not, if you're a supporter of education and you want to see our our uh, the people that attend Prairie View do well, join us. Be a part of what we can do. Help us do what we need to do to support the young folks coming behind us. And I would like to simply say God bless you all, and please have a blessed and safe day. Thank you very much, sir, for the closing statements. He is Greg Austin, president of the Prairie View Athletic Club. Don't forget that number to join today is 936 936- Eight five seven five eight one seven. One more time for the road. Nine three six eight five seven five eight one seven. The time has come where I must exit stage left. My time is far spent. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you so much for joining us on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. And until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip Daiquiri and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Our number to call is 832-213-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas.